Hello and welcome to Fully Charged, this time coming to you from a ferry crossing from Denmark to Sweden. Uh, burning bunker fuel? No, not this one. This one is 100% electric. So Christian, for a start, thank you so much for letting us ride on this amazing ferry. I mean, it's been a real joy. It's been something I've looked forward to for a long time and it's so good to see it actually functioning. I'm sure you're very pleased. That yeah, it, that is. Going. it is. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a long process to get to, to develop it. Exactly, it has been a long project. We've been planning for, it's almost took us three years to come to an end right. for this. Yes. Right. But it's been running now since November. Yeah, since November. And then yes. how many, you do so many crossings, because what we can't understand is how quickly it's going back and forth. It's incredible. Exactly, we do about 46 crossing, uh, single crossings every uh, 24 hours. So just give me the quick stats, because it just blew my mind when I first heard it. We charge with uh, 10 kilovolts for about uh, nine minutes in Sweden and right. uh, five minutes in Denmark, in <laughs> and 600 amps. So right. it's a, a huge amount of it's power. a little bit more than your average electric car takes. Exactly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what we have here now is the charging transformer. Right. So this is 10.7 uh, kilovolts, the AC coming in. Right. And on the secondary side, we have about uh, 750 volts. And that is then going into the um, converters. Yeah. And uh, making it uh, to... Uh, DC. Right, oh, yeah. I see. So, so this is right. the DC. Just a big converter. inverter. Basically. It's a big inverter, yeah. 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 <laughs> so that, and that gives you enough to, to, to cross, because it's not a very long cross. What's the distance we're traveling? The, 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 the distance is about four kilometers. Right, yeah. right. But it's a big ship, because I think I expected something much smaller. Yeah. But it has, this has a lot of trucks on it and a load of cars on it. Yes, it? Yeah. Uh, we, it's, it's a big ship, and uh, it's actually the biggest ship in the world uh, being converted to battery ships, right. fully battery right. ships. The, in, in terms of CO2, we will save about 28,000 tons a year for the, for the installation of, right. the, of the two ships. So it's a huge benefit yeah. for the local environment, of course. And, yeah. and uh, so, so that's the big difference. Right. Also, the, the system and totally will be an uh, increased uh, efficiency about uh, uh, about 25 to 30 percent of the efficiency between the old diesel uh, electric system and right. now the direct driven battery system right, right. yeah and so I mean is that is that reflected in the running cost we, we think that uh, we will the, the cost will be paid in about eight years the investment right. uh, with the, with the, uh, the fuel fuel prices that is today right but that could of course change yeah 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 but so i see so over that eight year period you are, are in 10 years you will have saved actual money including all the investment you've put into yeah, the ship yeah that's right. that's the plan and we we, right. we are planning to sail at least 15 more years with the ship by right. doing this retrofit so yeah. so this is uh, equal to one megawatt right inside in this, here in this box. yeah wow. yeah so it's a huge uh, yeah. amount of power. Wow. The batteries are in uh, 800 volts and we need uh, 1000 volts uh, DC for the propulsion engines. Right. So they are modulating uh, between 800 and 1000 volts. Right. So that is the DC-DC converter doing that. And it's also rectifying the, the current. Right. Yeah. So it is amazing. So the batteries are, they are lithium ion batteries. That's yes. what you're running it on. Yes. And, but quite a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> it's it's 640 batteries. Right. So. right. 
Right. So and they are w installed in uh, four different uh, containers. Yeah. Uh, and they're on the top because I would assume they would be right down low for weight and balance. But it doesn't. The ship is it, so big. It doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, this the ship is or originally built as a train ferry, so it has a lot of stability in right. itself from the beginning. So it doesn't put any difference on the stability by adding these 280 tons uh, right. on top of the ship. Right. And uh, uh, for a safety point, it's very good to have all this power on top of the ship in case of some, uh, yeah, in whatever. Case there is a fire, a fire it's on or the top. Yeah. collision or whatever. Right. Right. They are safe up here. So, exactly. what is the total kilowatt hours of the on on board that you're using? Four point one megawatt hours. <laughs> So we have a lot of power here. <laughs> and this is all the cooling system then? The, the, exactly. These uh, this uh, steel uh, hoses are for the cooling water, right. inlet and outlet. And the big cables is the power is cables, the power. DC wow. power cables. And they are connected serial in, right. uh, in strings with eight uh, modules together. Right. So that makes it about uh, 749 volts for one. That's what we are modulating then from this 749, 750 yeah. up to uh, 1000. Right. With, uh, so we get uh, the, the correct DC to the propeller motor. But I'm just seeing, because it's going to start charging soon. We're charging we, right we are charging now, now. Because now right. we have minus here. I see. So that means we're putting, we're, we're we are, putting power in. We're pulling uh, current yeah. inside the, the, the battery. So there are motors then driving at the front and at the back. Yeah, right? that's yeah. correct. It's yeah. uh, four uh, thrusters, so each of uh, 1,500 kilowatts. So altogether right. 6,000 kilowatts. Wow. So it's a very flexible ship and maneuverable. We can yeah. change around, turn around 360 degrees right. very easy. But that's the thing I've noticed in the crossings we've done is, we, you know, we've been talking and then I suddenly look out and I go, oh, we're moving. I had no idea. So there's not, because even on a, a large ship, you might be aware of a diesel engine. You feel that vibration. Exactly. And whoa, whoa, whoa. There's nothing. There's no, no clue. It's suddenly you're moving, and that's it. it. It's it? very easy, and, and the working environmental for the engine crew is a huge benefit be because we yeah. don't run the diesel generators yeah. anymore. So you do. There are diesel generators on board that yeah. can be used for an emergency use or at times you exactly do. Exactly like, right. uh, but it's considered as a take me home arrangement, yeah. and uh, we can run actually in three different modes. We can run in battery mode, hybrid mode, or diesel mode. Right. But we don't run in diesel mode. We can do. When we do, for example, maintenance on the charging robots or whatever, we might need to do some right. hybrid uh, crossings. But right. uh, then we charge the batteries of, uh, with our own diesel engine. Right. So the yeah. diesel engine, all it is doing is running a generator that charges the batteries. Exactly. So the yeah. system still, effectively, the drive system is the same. It's, that it's the same, pretty much right. the same. We had to change the propeller motors, but that's all we did in the engine room. Right. So, right. Yeah. So so, the, yeah, so we, and that's the other important thing. It's a converted ship, so it was a diesel electric ferry to start with. Yeah, and so you've you've basically put the effectively put the batteries and the and the charging system in. That's, what, that's what we what have comes, added, and, yeah. and also there was a. Quite a lot of uh, investments done with uh, infrastructure in the ports, yeah. in, the, in both ports as well, because we, we didn't have 10 mega kilovolt uh, medium voltage uh, breakers in, in the port area. So right. we, we had to do also had to that install installation. Yeah, yeah, that was, that is maybe the, in, in future installation, that is what is, we, we can, we have proved now that we can do this, it's yeah. a fact, and, but that needs to do a, a lot of improvements within uh, infrastructure and yes. different ports all yeah. over where they will do this kind of installations. Yeah, the, the most remarkable thing, I guess, is the charging system because yeah. we have such a short turnaround in the port. Yeah. So we need to have a very efficient uh, charging system. So it's fully automated. So when we lower the car ramp and start loading or uploading the cars, we immediately start the charging sequence. Yeah. So it's not dependent on any person on the bridge or right, uh, right. somebody else. Yeah. It's fully automated. Wow. There are 
Uh, the robot arms are extraordinary. I mean, is that the first time that sort of system has been used? Is that your, it is? Your yeah, yeah, it's like the that? first yeah. time. So, uh, and and uh, the connecting time is about 45 seconds, and right. uh, we need it uh, very quick because we need to charge as long as possible, yeah. uh, uh, as we have a very short turnaround time in the port. And then, so in a year, then how many crossings will you do? I think you did tell me I mean, it's a great many. Oh, yeah, right. it's um, uh, in a year. It's uh, I think it's something about. Uh, 17,000 crossings right, or something right. like that, yeah. So yeah. that's 17,000 charges, or no, it's exactly. more, because it's, it's, yeah, you're it's charging a, at yeah, both ends. Yeah, exactly, yeah. It's yeah. a lot of charging. It's a lot yeah. of charging, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, and what, and because it's still, what, you've been running since November? Si since November, of, we, we of had a, yeah, yeah, we can say that, yes. So, I mean, at the moment, then, I suppose you don't quite know how the, how the batteries will hold up, but what do you expect to get from we them? We expect to have them running for five years. Right. Uh, that's theoretically, but uh, we can see what we've seen so far, we think we will make it. We will. Uh, we are the optimum uh, area to uh, do the, is charge between uh, 40 to uh, 66 percent right. of the batteries, the state of charge. So they don't uh, often go below 40. Not and you don't so much. We don't 60. want to do that. We yeah. can do that depending on the traffic situation in the crossing because yeah. of uh, other ships and so on. So that happens. But we prefer to be in this area. The depth of the charge should be about 27 percent for these batteries. Right. That's why we're charging in both ends. Yeah. To to keep them on so in the, fact you could do more you know, we could actually could theoretically we could do about three and a half crossing without charging right, but right. Uh, that's not the optimal for the batteries no, no. and we don't want to get that low well, uh, we're about to come into dock Christian so I thank you so much for your time today you've been brilliant at explaining it all we've, we've had an amazing crossing it's very calm very, yeah, very nice. Thank you so much, You're and welcome. really good luck with it. And I hope lots of well, I know lots of people have come to see it. Other shipping companies. It so is, yes, it yes. Sounds like it's been, it's been a great success. It has, it has. Yeah.